Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Sea Hunter Factory Walkthrough Wednesday. Today we're going to look at the 28 Floridian, by far the most popular model we have here at Sea Hunter Boats. Let's talk a little bit about the 28 Floridian and how we designed her. The idea behind this boat was always to have the biggest, most comfortable inshore fishing platform that could do offshore fishing really well. This boat has a very robust nine foot, 10 inch beam. It has really wide bow flare here in the bow to keep the occupants dry. It has a very deep dead rise and we'll look at that here shortly. And that's really what gives it the offshore capability. On top of the fact that it's built the same as the big boats, right? We are using the Kevlar throughout the boat. We're foam filling the entire boat, massive boxes for storage and fish boxes, massive bait wells. So this boat is really built to do anything you could ever ask of a boat to do on the water. In the bow of the 28 Floridian, we have wide open space with a very large covering board. The covering board is very comfortable to stand up and throw your cast net, although you can easily throw a cast net from down inside. We've got a large anchor locker, a massive fish box, and a 60 gallon forward live well. You also have two feet of height here at the forward deck which is very secure for families that have smaller children on board and you wanna make sure they're enclosed in the boat. The forward console on the 28 Floridian comes standard with this very robust forward seat. Enough room for two people, has storage underneath. Also the hard top has enough coverage to cover the forward seat, whether you choose the Key West style hard top or the full coverage hard top. One of the things I love about the 28 Floridian is all the space. So when you're walking past the console, there's enough room for two people to pass each other next to the console. You've got wide open walkways, wide open gunnels, plenty of room to reach down, pull out your washdowns. You've got salt water and fresh water on each side. At the helm of the 28 Floridian, we have plenty of dash space for even 17 inch electronics. We've got room for all the autopilot, stereo, controls for trolling motors, controls for jack plate. Everything fits in this dash. We also have center steering, we have throttle controls to the right. The Floridian features standard Isinglass enclosure on three sides, as well as a cover for your dash. At the helm, we have a 52 inch seat. So plenty of room for three passengers. The captain normally stands right in the middle and you can have a passenger on each side of you. We also have rod holder and cup holder storage along the back, rod holder storage in the hard top, plenty of lighting throughout the hard top. It really is a comfortable helm area. On the back half of the helm chair, we have a very large tackle center, as well as our aft-facing cooler seat. Here in the back of the 28 Floridian, we have a lot of open space. Almost four feet deep, over eight feet wide between the combing bolsters, so you've got plenty of room to move around. Large live wells, 45 gallon live wells on each side, rod holders in between the live wells, and also we can put seating in between the live wells and seat cushions on top of the live wells. So this really is a great space for this boat. Here at the back of the boat, dual power. The boat was designed originally for dual 300s. So plenty of room for the big motors, plenty of room for a swim platform, come up and down on ladders on each side of the boat. Power poles can be in on each side of the boat and still plenty of room to get up the back of the boat. So the beauty of this boat is wide open space, large wide beam and plenty of usable access throughout the boat. This boat features amazing in-deck storage. Here at the back of the boat, we have a six-foot fish box, completely insulated. We all know that the Sea Hunter boats are built foam-filled. Thank you everyone for spending three minutes with me today on the 28 Floridian. For myself, Eddie Leon, and cameraman extraordinaire, super cameraman, ultra cameraman, Anthony, we say thank you and see you next Wednesday for Walkthrough Wednesday.